Ooh, y'all, I'm talking so much. I swiped it out the box. I was like, you know what? I want that. So yeah, that's why I got this. Pulled it right out of that hand-me-down box. Ooh. Hydrate. Okay, like I said, a friend popped up at my apartment with like three big boxes of clothes that were supposed to be donated and given away. But I wanted to go through it to see if there was anything I wanted before he took it to a donation spot. So I'm, I don't know the prices of any of these clothes, obviously, because they're hand-me-downs, meaning I didn't buy them. They came from someone else who didn't want them. And now I have them. If anyone doesn't know what a hand-me-down is, that's what that is. I guess the first thing I will show y'all is these pants. This says they're a size 2 regular. They're very flowy, very breathable. They're comfortable. And I think they're cute. My other go-to look has been like big t-shirts that I can like tie up. Pretty much anything that I can tie up has been my go-to look lately. So I thought these pants would be really cute with like a t-shirt. And yeah, I have worn these pants a couple times actually since I had got them. And yeah, they're just very comfortable. Alright, so moving on to another pair of pants I found. This mustard yellow dressy pants. They're very comfortable. They're stretchy. Um, the only thing about these pants is that they're kind of bleached. Because they fit so nice and I thought they were so cute, I was like, you know what, I'm going to keep them and I'm going to just figure out how I can make this wearable because it's bleached on one pants leg so I thought about taking a spray bottle and kind of just spraying it with some more bleach on the other side but yeah I think I'm gonna try that out before I actually start wearing them because they, I just thought they were so cute and they just fit so nice I was just like I have to figure out how to finesse this let's see do I have any more pants no so I guess I'll move on to because these are kind of pants it's a onesie I have worn this before and I wore it with like neon green biker shorts over it. It looked really cute with my green biker shorts. And I actually went biking. <laughs> See what I did there? I was on a motor scooter. The next thing I have in my hand-me-down pile is this dress. It's very casual. It's um black and white striped and it's like very flowy and flirty at the end of it. Mid-length sleeves. And yeah, this dress is a little short, so um, whenever I do wear it, I am going to wear like shorts or, you know, biker shorts or something under it because it's so flowy and she got a little booty. That ain't going to work. The wind going to blow and everything going to show. So I definitely got to wear something under this when I wear it. Here's another, this is kind of like a dressy shirt. This isn't a men's shirt, but it is a long shirt. And I kind of do the same things, the same thing with shirts like this as I do with those long, um, those oversized flannels that I like. I tie them up and kind of just wear them to my liking. Because it's sheer, it's kind of see-through, so that's also what makes it a little more flirty. Because this is a like a little more dressy for women, um, I would wear this just regular button down um, with like a bandeau top under it and tucked into my jeans or something. Another item, I swiped out the box. I have a lot of black and white items because this is this is like a black and white bohemian style top it has these very thin spaghetti straps that I can adjust I like shirts like this it kind of just hangs over the breast area you know it's not fitted so I'm not really worried about my midsection something rolling and the shirt kind of getting lost in my crevices or whatever I'm not worried about that with these kind of tops another black and white crop and I don't really have anything like this in my closet already. I thought this was really cute. It kind of has like this pleathered beats. Well, actually, now that I'm feeling it, it it's not really pleather. It's kind of like satin. It's like a, a bralette, but it's longer than a bralette. It's, it's kind of more on the crop shirt kind of side of things rather than a bralette. If y'all know what I'm saying, y'all get what I'm saying. Um, my boobs fit in this shirt, so that's always a good thing. Alright, so I got this really, really sexy lace leotard, this one piece. I thought this was so cute, so cute. You know, this can be worn to a club. This can be worn in the bedroom, you know what I'm saying? Because it kind of does look like a lingerie item, just because of the lace. 
and the color it's so cute it's so feminine it just it fits really nice and honestly even if it didn't fit I was gonna pick it off the hand-me-down box anyway because it's cute and I was just gonna find I was gonna figure out how I was gonna wear it that's how that goes um, these next three items I like sweaters and hoodies and jackets is actually <laughs> all of those things the first one is a sweater this is a forest green sweater that I found in the hand-me-down pile you know very appropriate for this time of year um, very soft kind of corduroy material it's not really corduroy at all it's softer than corduroy if y'all remember that material I don't even know if people sell that kind of material nowadays but yeah um, yeah it's just it's just really it's very soft sweater material this next item is a red hoodie and on the front of it it says I'd rather be at a concert for COVID I love going to live shows live concerts uh, cafe style type of places love that stuff I love it love it love it so I thought this shirt well this hoodie was like really me most of the time I would rather be at a concert moving on and this is the last item basic but cute windbreaker it's my favorite color it's red and I don't really have like a pullover windbreaker and I wanted one so when I found this in the hand-me-down box I was just like oh yes yes absolutely and it fits nice it has these side pockets it has a pocket in the middle with the zipper and yeah and then it has a zipper in the front so you know I can wear it open if I want I, I probably would never wear it open though because it, it goes down too far it doesn't really have any kind of like felt or kind of fleece like you know any kind of warm material in the inside so I don't see it really protecting me from <laughs> any coldness that may come from the wind I, I don't see that happening because it, it's it's like it's just this material that it's made from this windbreaker material and that's it there's nothing on the inside but whatever I still think it's cute it'll do all right y'all so that is everything that I have that is all the clothes that I found at thrift stores and um, from the hand-me-down boxes um, more of these will come I'm actually going to be doing an online shopping haul next um, I'm no fashionista or anything but I'm trying to get more into like just finding out what my style is um, yeah thrift stores has been one of my favorite places to shop at because it just forces me to to just think outside the box keep an open mind be creative because most of those clothes are throwaways from other people people that don't want them so some of that stuff is like eh. but then you'll um, come across some other items where it's just like okay yes you know I can do something with this amen amen but yeah that's all I have for you guys I hope I did this hard justice comment down below um, and let me know if you like any particular pieces. Let me know what your faves were. Um, you can also let me know what you didn't like. I mean, I, I wouldn't really care because I like it. So I bought it. But go ahead. Be opinionated. Down there in the comment section. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification bell. So that you are notified the next time I post a video and every time after that as well. Thank you and I will see you guys in my next video. It's my Trina hair for any Braxton fans out there. Yeah.